Hi everyone, now we will discuss about some of the type of the op-amp. So usually op-amp we have non-inverting and inverting amplifier. Each inverting or non-inverting amplifier, you have to define that what is the total gain. So we can call that what is AF and next we can identify what is the feedback of that one. So we can call it as a beta and also we can identify that what is the resistor with feedback so we can call rif or here we are using ac signal so we can call as a zif also so if you are using ac signal usually we call as a impedance so this is zef and similar way we can talk about the resistance in the output with feedback so rof or we can call as a zof in this case okay also we can discuss the fifth one like what is the feedback bandwidth or bandwidth with feedback okay so we can call bandwidth with feedback bwf so these are the five terms you have to find for the op-amp either inverting or non-inverting amplifier so each uh, step we can define what is these uh, portions one by one first we will discuss about non-inverting op-amp so if you take non-inverting op-amp first we will take as a op-amp portion so positive negative is connected and here v naught so when you are talking about non-inverting so we are talking about the plus portion so uh, we are taking v in from the plus so this is the ac signal plus minus and it is connected to positive signal negative signal already we discussed it is always we have to give like uh, one feedback so we can call about rf and one more signal we have something like r1 and it is connected to ground so here uh, we can talk this one as a v in okay and whatever the signal we are getting this portion we can talk about vf so uh, because this is the feedback uh, portion what we are getting so we are getting v in vf and also we are uh, taking with respect to v naught so we know the formula for the gain so what is the gain formula here or what is the v naught formula here so if you take as a v naught in this case v naught is equal to a into we can talk about v plus and v minus we know that it is v plus minus v minus v plus means positive terminal voltage v minus means negative terminal so we will consider this one and find out the equation so first we can find out what is the gain with feedback so gain with feedback we are calling as a af okay so first af means actually what it is nothing but v naught divided by v in why because the total whole circuit if you take output we are taking v naught and input we are given as v in so we can talk about af is nothing but v naught divided by v in so first we will find out what is v naught from our formula so we can say that v naught is equal to a into v plus minus v minus so here what is v plus mean? v plus is actually connected positive terminal v in terminal so we can say that V plus is nothing but V in. What about V minus? V minus is connected to VF. So we can tell about this V minus is nothing but VF. So when you simplify this one, we can say that we are getting as a V naught is equal to A into V in minus VF. Okay. Now our aim is to calculate what is VF now because our aim is to find AF. AF is the ratio of v naught v in so here vf is not there so that reason our aim is to convert vf to the other format so what is vf if you take this circuit only this portion so how it look like we can say that this portion we have v naught and then it is connected with the resistance rf then one more resistance series to that r1 and grounded and the middle point is connected to vf this is the equivalent circuit of this portion so if you look like this circuit how circuit look like it is nothing but voltage divided by us so in this portion we are calculating vf obviously if you apply voltage divider rule on this so we can identify the vf value so our aim is to find vf is equal to 
the resistance with Vf is R1. So, R1 divided by total resistance is R1 plus Rf into voltage source. Here, V0 is the voltage source. Okay. So, usually we know that Vf is equal to beta into V0. So, uh, beta portion, we can talk about this one. Okay. So, when you are finding second one beta, so we can identify that uh, later. So, we will go with the our circuit post. So, from the formula here, V0 is equal to A into V minus Vf. Vf we will apply this value. So, our equation become V0 is equal to A into V in minus. Instead of Vf here, we will apply this one. So, it is R1 divided by R1 plus Rf into V0. Okay. So, now our aim is to simplify this one and get the what is Af value. So, for this, first we can simplify that. Wherever V0 take together, so here also V0, here also V0 will take together. So, we will get this one V0 plus V0 into R1 divided by R1 plus Rf. Here, positive why because here negative is there if you send this side it is positive anyway this is multiply with a also yes or no so you have to take the multiplication of a also so you can take a here okay so because a into a minus of r1 divided by r1 plus rf into v naught yes or no so similar way here we will get as a a into v okay so this is the uh, format what we get v naught we are taking one side now take V0 out. So, you will get V0 1 plus V0 if you take, you will get as a R1 into A divided by R1 plus Rf is equal to A into V. Now, simplify your own way. Our aim is to get V0 by V. So, make V0 by V. So, what you will get? So, once you make V0 by V to this one, first we can find out what is V0 here. So, V0 is equal to, you will get as a A into V in divided by this portion is multiplying. So, 1 plus R1 A divided by R1 plus Rf. So, now this is the R1 plus Rf is 1 by this one. So, we can take to the numerator side. So, we can say once again V0 is equal to A into V in. So, A into V in as it is. So, multiplication of this term. So, we will get R1 plus Rf divided by. So, uh, you cannot take directly this one. First, you have to simplify with to this one. Then only we can take it. So, if I simplify this one, this multiplying here and this multiplying here. Uh, this is nothing but we can take about numerator and denominator as a 1. So, usually we will get this one. R1 plus Rf plus R1a. Okay. Simplification of this divided by R1 plus Rf. So, this R1 by Rf, I am taking upper side. So, come here. So, I will get as a denominator this portion R1 plus Rf plus R1a. So, this is the answer what you got. Now, your aim is to find AF from this. So, AF is nothing but we know that V0 by V. In. So, here again if I do V0 we know that. Divided by V in means this V in get cancelled. So, we will get as a V0 by V in is cancel it V in. So, nothing but A into R1 plus Rf. Okay. Divided by R1 plus Rf plus R1 A. Okay. This is the formula what we got for with feedback. So, here the thing you have to remember is first you have to apply the formula V0 is equal to A into V plus minus V minus. So, once you apply this one, uh, here you have to apply the voltage divider root Vf. Once you got, simplify your own way, such a way that I have to get V0 by Vi. You can simplify it your own way, you will get one answer. That is called as a exact gain with feedback equation. You can also do the this extract. Also, you can do this exact version to the some ideal version. So, see here, previous class we discussed about what is A or gain of the op-amp. Op-amp, open loop gain or op-amp gain we are usually calling as a A or we can call it as a M. It is nothing but nearly 10 to the power of 5. So, 10 to the power of 5 is a very high value. When you adding with, only take this denominator. So, you are adding with this A value plus R1 plus Rf. 
so r1 rf it is in some uh, kilo and uh, it may be a very very small value compared to the this 10 to the power of 5 so we can ignore that so uh, if you ignore this one what we can say we can say that a is much greater than r1 plus rf so whatever the value of r1 plus rf it doesn't affect to the addition of the a so we can say that if you simplify this one af is equal to we can call a into r1 plus rf divided by we are ignoring r1 plus rf so here r1 plus rf is ignored so we will get r1 into a so a and a get cancelled the answer of af is nothing but we will get as a r1 plus rf divided by r1 you can simplify it like 1 plus rf divided by r1 so this is the card as a ideal equation and we usually use everywhere like this also so you people may conclude with exact the ideal is exactly not required the thing is when you are calculating these stuff you can ignore it and you can go with the ideal value this is all about how we can find out the amplifier with feedback second one already we are told you have to find beta beta is nothing but gain of the feedback network so it is very easy to find out here gain of feedback network so it is nothing but we are getting as a uh, beta is nothing but output by input so output is vf and input is v0 for the feedback network so vf divided by v0 so already we discussed in the previous part what is vf from the voltage divider rule we saw that vf is equal to we got here vf is equal to r1 divided by r1 plus rf into v0 so we have to apply this one to the vf so usually uh, we will get as a beta is equal to r1 divided by r1 plus rf into v0 and whole divided by v0 so v0 v0 get cancelled so your beta is nothing but beta is equal to r1 divided by r1 plus r now the thing you have to remember here what we got actually the af is af we got as a r1 plus rf divided by r1 here we got as a r1 divided by r1 plus r in the feedback network we discussed that af and beta is 1 divided by relation so that we can prove from this condition so here af is r1 plus rf so numerator denominator is up so if you simplify this one your own way so whatever formula we got from the exact version that is a into r1 plus rf divided by r1 plus rf r1 a this is nothing but if you uh, take the beta value and af a value like that so you will usually get af is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta this is the uh, most used formula this is nothing but this one when you apply beta value uh, to uh, r1 divided by r1 plus rf and uh, uh, a value also a value anyway here so if you do that one you will get anyway we are not going that much deep here just remember that how to find af here how to find beta and usually if you want the relation between af and beta you can go with the this form so from this and this we can simplify that af is equal to 1 by beta so third one we will go with the rif or in our case here we are calling as a zif it is nothing but impedance with feedback if you talking about impedance with feedback when you take this circuit so take only input side so it is nothing but this portion is v in and here when you are taking as a any op amp circuit so there is a one resistance in between plus and minus this is minus this is plus okay in between that there is a resistance that we usually call as a rn resistance and now here it is connected to the this portion anyway this portion is vf we know that this is anyway grounded and uh, we have another portion anyway it is grounded yes or no so uh, this is nothing but if you take this uh, both are connected so this is nothing but it is connection input side is series so input side is series you people may remember that we are done feedback network 
like output is voltage input is series this is also called as a it is voltage series network so it is very very important that you have to remember like this voltage series network so why it is called voltage series because voltage is output and input is series connection so it is nothing but voltage voltage feedback network also we can call okay so if you want more detail on this one previous feedback network classes just check it out so it is also called as a voltage voltage feedback network so for this how we have to calculate our rif or zif if you go with the the section what i have done there we are done input resistance finding for series or shunt here already i told it is a input connection is series because uh, input we are taking as a voltage here so it is connected like a series connection here yes or no so when you are connecting series connection like this so we can go with the input resistance finding according to the our series pattern so uh, do the as it is what we are done here input resistance how we are finding series so here what we are taken uh, v in actually instead of vs so we can say that for just for our understanding purpose whatever here vs is there we are taken as a v in okay this is don't write in exam just for your understanding purpose what um, previously we are done that similar here similar way what we are taken vi here okay uh, and vi is nothing but this portion usually we called as a vid so it is nothing but differential voltage in between this portion so whatever we are feeding from this that is called as a differential voltage of v in and v feedback both so that we can call here instead of vi is equal to vid so differential voltage you can simply like this and you can calculate as we are done previously so we have two equation we will get one is zi one is zif so if you take as a zi it is nothing but vi by ii so it is nothing but uh, if you take like this voltage and current here we are taking vi instead of vid that is nothing but r in or z in uh, without feedback this portion this portion is voltage with vid and whatever the anyway one only one current is going on so ii so uh, take that one so your formula become vid or uh, v differential also you can take vd also you can take so vid divided by ii and zif is nothing but anyway the current is same but instead of here vs we are taking about v in so we can take even you can take the different name like vs and vd like that uh, left to you people not an issue so simplify uh, the same method so first you have to apply kvl as usual so you will get as a like uh, uh, v in minus vid minus vf is equal to 0 simply i change instead of vs minus vi minus